Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a data frame by reading Excel sheets. While developing solutions using Spark at Databricks environment, we are majorly dealing with big data file formats such as Spark A, Avro, ORC, CSV or JSON. Processing the data from Excel is very rare and it's very limited. But still there are certain scenarios where we need to create data frame from Excel. In some projects, the master data is still maintained through Excel sheets. So in those uh, situations, we have to read the data from Excel. But coming to syntax, in order to access any big data file formats such as uh, Parquet, Avro, uh, CSV, JSON, we can use a syntax like spark.read.format within that we have to give the file format. For Parquet, we can give Parquet or for CSV, we can give CSV. But people used to confuse or people used to assume for Excel sheet, we can give either Excel or Excel XX. But that is not the case. That is the reason. This is one of the interview question and some interviewer used to test the knowledge of the developer. So people used to give wrong answer by saying Excel. The format we have to mention Excel. But that is not the case. So there is a separate approach for that. I am going to cover that approach in this video. Let's get started with the demo. This is the Excel data that we are going to process in today's demo. The file name is Excel underscore score data. This is containing score related data. This is having three sheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. And each sheet is containing two records and there are three columns. Coming to first sheet, it is containing ID, name, score. And ID is triple one, name is Mike and score is 100. Uh, similarly, triple two, David and 200. Similar to this uh, structure, we are having two more records in the sheet 2 and another two more records in sheet 3. Overall, we are having six records in this Excel uh, file and two records per sheet. I hope you understood. This is what we are going to read in today's demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is also up and running. And also, I have uploaded this file into Databricks file system DBFS under the location file store, tables and unit testing. In order to confirm that, I am going to use file system command ls. Let me execute this step. I have executed and uh, under this uh, folder, I can see our file excel underscore score underscore data. This is the file we have seen some time back. Now, in order to read this excel file, we have to use different format. That format is com.crealytics.spark.excel. This is the format we have to use. For CSV or Parquet, simply we can give CSV or Parquet. It's very simple. But coming to Excel, this is the standard we need to follow. We have to give the format com.crealytics.spark.excel. But uh, we cannot directly use this format. Before using this format, we have to install some library in our cluster. Still, I haven't installed the uh, install the library in my cluster. So before installing, I want to run and I want to show the error message that it is going to return. Let me execute this step. Right, as I told, this is returning the error message class not found exception, which means we cannot use this format without installing the library. But which library we have to install and where we have to install? The library name is com.crealytics.spark excel and there there is a version. So this is the version we have to install. Let me copy and in order to install, you know, we can install either in the notebook level or we can install at cluster level also. I'm going to show you how to install at cluster level. For this, we have to get into compute. Then we have to get into our cluster and we have to get into libraries. Within the libraries, we have to click install new. Then we can go to Maven library Within that, then we can give the coordinates, that library name, then we can install. It is installing. It will take uh, it will take a minute. Once that is done, we can go back to our notebook and we can start uh, reading the Excel file. The installation is completed. Now it is installed. We can see the status here. Now let me go back to my notebook. Now once again, I execute the same command. In this uh, command, what I'm doing is, you know, I'm reading Excel for that. We, are, uh, we have to give this syntax and uh, I need to mention the file that is Excel score data dot Excel Let me execute. 
the execution is completed and it is giving the output. So co compared to other file formats, for Excel file, you know, we are having special option that is data address. So in that address, basically we need to mention the sheet name. So here I have mentioned sheet three. That's the reason I have uh, received the output of third sheet. If we don't give anything by default, it will consider sheet one. So if you want to read specific uh, sheet, for example, I want to read the data for sheet two, then I can give a second sheet. So let me execute this one. So it will give the output of triple three and triple four. This is the data we have seen in our second sheet. So this is the way how we can read the Excel data and create data frame. I hope you understood. But still, you know, there are certain scenarios where we have to read all the Excel sheets and we have to combine, uh, combine the result in order to create the data frame. How we can achieve. So manually we cannot create each and every sheet like this and we cannot uh, combine. So in order to automate that part, what I have done is I have created one uh, user defined function that can be used to create uh, to read data from all Excel sheets and um, uh, create the combined data frame. Right. Uh, for that, what I have done is I have uh, first of all, you know, I'm uh, hard coding the sheet names. So in my example, there are three sheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So I'm creating one list that is called sheets. And also I'm defining the location where we are having that particular Excel sheet. These are the parameters needed for that uh, Excel uh, uh, that uh, user defined function. So I have defined here. Here, you know, I'm hard coding the number of sheets, uh, but uh, in real time, there could be some scenarios where you don't know the number of sheets. So dynamically, it could change. So what we can do for that also, we can apply some Python program and based on that, you know, we can get the uh, list of sheets from particular Excel file. Even we can go for that approach. Right. But in this uh, simple demo, I have hard coded the number of sheets. Right. Now, in the next step, what I'm doing is I'm creating one user defined function, which is accepting path and then number list of sheets, sheet names. Then first, what it is doing is, you know, first we have to create at least one data frame for that. It is reading the first element from the list, which means it is reading the first uh, sheet name. So sheet one that will uh, get into this uh, variable. Then based on this particular sheet, you now we are giving that a data address that is, I'm uh, giving that variable first sheet that we are uh, getting it from here. And uh, the path you know, we are getting uh, for this um, uh, input, for this U UDFS input parameter that I'm using. So the key here is I'm passing the sheet name as a variable into this data address. Then it is going to create the initial version of the data frame, then it is done. Then in the next step, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, infer the schema out of this one so that I can use the schema with the other sheets so that you know, I can make sure there is no schema deviation in the other sheets. So for that purpose, I am just reading the schema from this uh, data frame, which is uh, created by reading the first sheet. Then I am iterating through all the sheets one by one. So we have already processed the uh, first sheet. That is the reason I'm here. I'm using the Python um, uh, slicing uh, list slicing. So it is uh, starting from first, uh, I mean, second sheet till the end. So I'm iterating everything one by one. Same uh, here, the sheet name I'm uh, hard coding in the data address. Then immediately I'm just performing the union, which means you know, it is uh, combining with the previous result. So what happens is you know, whenever we have created the initial version, we are having two records. Then it is uh, processing the second sheet. Then it is going to combine. It is going to add those two records into the previous result. So it is performing the union, which means we are going to get four records in the second iteration. And the third iteration, again, it is going to add two more records. So finally, it is going to process all the sheets and it is going to combine all the records into one data frame. Finally, it will return the, that data frame into the caller. Right. So this is the um, uh, UDF I have created in order to automate, um, automate uh, to read Excel uh, sheets in one single go. Okay, let me execute this, um, this cell so that it will define the variables, sheets and path. It's done. Now let me combine the user different function that is also done. In the next step, I am calling the user different function by passing the parameters, a path and sheets. And finally, it is going to give the output for our reference. Let me execute this step. It's completed. Now we can see there are six records. In one single go, we have, a, a, we have read all the data from all the sheets in the single Excel file. This is how we can uh, read data from multiple Excel sheets in single go. This is also one of the important interview question. I hope you understood and enjoyed this concept. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. 
Also, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.